Where are we, Claire? We're at the NEC in Birmingham, Andrew. What are we here for? We're here for the motorhome and caravan show. And we've come to see if brand new motorhomes and caravans are really worth the money. Let's go and find out. This is £181,000. £101,000? £236,000. £236,000. See you later, dogs. <laughs> hey. Look at that. I think that's when you've met it. When? In motorhoming, where you've got one of them cabs. I could put my jigsaw on front. You have to excuse my uh, backpack. Claire made me bring sandwiches. Say cheese. Caravan, 52,000 pound. 52 G's? 52 Jesus. This is that expensive. They don't let you in. Oh God, yeah, look. Sorry, I'm going to get interrupted. Yeah. <laughs> McLaren. Car, just watch out. <laughs> but I feel like you've picked up mega money ones there. Yeah. They're a lot of money, aren't they? But surely yeah. it's a little bit more affordable. So the average price of a motorhome yeah. in the UK, brand new, is £70,000. Yeah. Average price of a caravan is between twenty four and 26000 Okay. So I've been doing some working out. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So. If the average price of a campsite night for yeah. us from yeah. this year has been about £40 a night. Now we do caravan and motorhome, home and we've also done some caravan and camping and some independence. Done some independence. We know that you can stay on CL sites. Yeah, cheaper. we've chosen those. We've chosen them, so if you want if you want the facilities then that's what you get. So we've done some quick calculations. Mm -hmm. And if you spend £70,000 on a brand new motorhome and you did 28 nights a year on campsites, if you didn't take the insurance or the diesel or the other costs yeah. involved, MOTs, maintenance, do you know how much that would be a night per year? No. We can spread it out over 10 years, so you've got 10 years ownership. Yeah. £290 a night. Wow, that's a lot of money, isn't it? That's a lot of money. Is it worth and it? And that's for an average motorhome. Yeah. Even for a caravan, it's about 120 something a night. Yeah, a lot of money then. So you got to tow it there. Why is it so popular? Let's go and see some of these more 70,000, 24,000 pounds caravans and motorhomes and see what you get for that. Hey, look at this. Thanks. Tell you what, what might be cheaper? Yeah. Camper vans. Let's have a look. That's a bit fair. Uh, nope. Now look here, Claire. These are more my prices. Yorkshire man prices, twenty-one and a half. So that's under the average. It's under the average, quite a bit. Look at it. A discovery. Love the grey colour. Yeah. Hey, Claire. I know it's a selling point, but you don't want everybody on campsites to know about it, do you? <laughs> Although our figures say that the average brand new motorhome price is seventy thousand. We've tried to find some average ones, but we can't find any. They're all 70 odd. This is around the average price of the caravan. Yes. That's right in middle. Let's have a look and see what you get for this. Andrew, it's really nice. Now I'm a caravan fan. You're a caravan? I'm a caravan fan. You love caravans, I don't do, you? Yeah. Caravan convert. This is nice because look, it's got the lounging area, but also the, the fixed bed that we like. Big kitchen. Claire, we've found one. Looks really nice. This is how much? This is 61. This is 8,000 pounds under the average price. So they do exist. And this one, 68. And if you prefer a van style, then they also offer these 68. We're on this way to try and show you the more average price things, but we've come to the Burstner stand. Yeah. We nearly bought a Burstner, didn't we? Loved the Burstner. Yes. Apparently German quality. Who's got a Burstner? Are they as good as what people say? But there's one thing that's caught my eye. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that door for big men. XL door. Because? Yeah. You need it. <laughs> on our motor home, I catch myself every single time. And to be fair, as this year's gone on and I've been eating and drinking more, it's caught me even more, so I need a bigger door. They've all got big doors, these, Claire. We need a burst now. That's what I want. Massive window like that. If we had one of them, Claire, I might have to get, like, a, a ticket machine. ticket machine? Yeah, you could get around and go, uh, one to Bridlington, please. Oh, well, that's time to get some money uh, back. Look, they're showing you how to build them. 
Rebecca Swift, welcome to the hub. They're ready to do business. Big setup, right, isn't it? I wonder what the motor homes and caravans are like. Shall we go and have a look? Yes. Swift's a huge manufacturer, isn't it? And, yeah, it's reflective of the prices. Yeah, look. look. 22,995. They always feel very homely, caravans. Yeah. Don't you think? It is, yeah. I, love I it. think with having that separation and there's no steering wheel, it feels a bit more like a living room. Yeah, so even Swift do average price new Motrons. Yeah, it's a Voyager. It's about seventy-one thousand eight hundred and seventy pounds. Remo, now I look at this. This is Super Brig, and this is Super Brig, Super Brig, Super Brig Ten. <laughs> now then, this is an interesting. Thing. Why is it interesting? There's no price on any of them. Looks very high end. Hey Claire, if you come here yes. and you're lacking inspiration, let's yes. come to the Inspiration Theatre. Let's have a look at this for. Hello. Hello. She chic. We've been looking for. Chic Klein. Chic Klein. Chic Klein. Chic Klein. Okay, it's a hundred and forty-five thousand. So he's just saying off camera that that's the dream one. I think that that would be the ultimate, wouldn't it? Next level, that for me. But then there's always another level, and that's it. You might have to sell your body on OnlyFans. We don't do finance on these. Empire Liner. Oh my word. Look at that. I hope he's not going to get camera envy. We could have had one of these. We're not buying one, okay? <laughs> Hello there, nice to meet you. Hi. We're filming round for our little oh, thing. What a beautiful, beautiful thing. So you get to spend your days with you then? Uh, it looks like You're it. Lucky, <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> Top and bottom. Wow, absolutely. Here. Brilliant. Have you driven this then? Not this particular one. No, but you drive the other ones? Germany. Ah, okay. Lovely. This is what? Uh, lots of space, it's great. Dishwasher. Oh, there's a dishwasher. Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah and a big one as well. Yeah, it's got eco mode, mode though. Right, yeah, yeah. But. <laughs> 500 litre fresh water. So is this 500, just a two yeah. berth? Four. Four. Two there, two kids two up there. And then, ah, so that drops down, yeah? Yeah, I see it, yes, I see it, yeah. Yeah. So that was 6,000. 600? 635,000. Oh, it pops out outside. I didn't see that, did you? I don't think I could have this one though. Do you know why? Why? Because I think I'd scare myself in that when I got in it. <laughs> you what? <laughs> I'd have a big, massive ball head. <laughs> All right then, Claire. So now we've had a top level of everything. Yep. Let's have a look inside some of these and see what you actually get for your money. Because some of them look pretty much the same, don't yeah, they, yeah, on the yeah. outside? Let's see, is it really worth it? All right, so we're at Remo. Yes, we're going to we have a look inside and see what you get. This one has got a show price, 58995 uh, But the yep. specification on display is 71 but you can get 10 grand off it here. Let's see what kind of thing you get. Yeah, okay, it's an Ford Transit. It's a short one, just like what we've got. Six metres. But I think it's fair to say... It's a bit smaller, isn't it? It is, yeah? bright, nice and bright. Nice and bright. Uh, it's not as wide as ours, so it's very slim. Very slim, compact. Compact, one thing to notice, mm -hmm. if you're a big guy. You can't stand in it. But is this a bed? It is, it's a bed that drops down, bed. I can see it is. But we've got these nice, a nice cab, it's on a Ford You can cab. have your meal here like we do. Yeah, it's got a really small table. It's a little bit like Sun Living. Yes, one thing I think to note is that it steps up to the bed. Yeah. Which sometimes is difficult on your feet. Definitely. You don't like that, do you? I don't like that. So we've got some space saving going off. Little kitchen. Fridge, yeah. Shall I lift this up and have a little look under there? Would you say it feels budget? Yes. Remo also do a panel van type of offering. Yep, similar price, look. 55, 56,000. And the one thing that you do notice with these is it, it does feel smaller. It's a smaller Very narrow, area. yes. 
but it's traditional camper van. It's quite a nice camper van, this. It is, yeah. I think if you buy a brand new vehicle and fit it out, I know you can do it cheaper, but time and everything else that's involved in it. Yeah, seats swivel round to make a, a four. Yep. Yeah. And then you've got a bed at the back. And also, a little toilet and shower. Oh, look at this. I haven't seen something so wide before. It's all under there, look. So nice you have feature. to have it open, which to me means there's nowhere to actually cook. Oh, is there a flap at the end? There's a flap. So that's called a Horus 38. Thank you. Horus, it's the god of sun. So we're on the auto trail stand here. Lots of choice, lots of different types and styles, all roughly around the 65,000 mark. Very popular stand this. There's Very a lot popular. Of people looking. You got all the smaller, more compact motor homes. These are the F-line ones. So let's have a look and see what the build quality is like. This is an XL. Now this is uh, 65. This is quite handy. How many shelves in the garage? 65. It's got a nice fabric walls look. It seems wider. It's leather. Or four leather. Four leather. Turns around. So there's no table here. Where did, I don't know where that comes from. Interesting. This is on a Ford chassis. So there's a bit of table action to go on there. And then you've got the bed must be made up. Uh, so, so for 65, you have got a massive bathroom though. And this is good. It's one thing that we don't have in our Benimar. This is huge, really. I suppose you would need to decide. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is <laughs> just shut Claire out. Sorry about that, Claire. You did it on purpose. <laughs> I never did. You'd have to decide what. If you really need a big bathroom. Yeah. 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 So this is what, 65 short much, price. How much was the Remo? This were, this is about £10,000 more. Okay. Hey Claire. Yes. Look what we found. Marquis and our friends. Actually Marquis looked after us. We'll have a look and see what kind of prices these are coming in at. Because we've got a Mileo 202. So we found what we think is our van. It's the, the closest model. to our van as possible. It's not a Mileo, it's a Primero. It looks the same layout, basically. £69,990. Right. Weimar. I've seen some sort of improvement here. Look, there's a bin. Oh, really ah, here we go. We're in familiar territory. Yeah, this is our van. This is our van. Although, they have upgraded some things. What, can you see they've upgraded? 230 kilos on the bed. And also, I think the, the upholstery yes. is different. There's no TV Fiat here. base. There's no TV rack there. That's the dry robe storage area. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty much same. Exactly the same fridge. The cooker, I won't be able to tell you. We've got a um, extractor hob, that's new. And we've got these slanted things here. So this is interesting to see. Oof. Now then, they've obviously had to think about this because it's not really usable, our shower, if we're honest. No, it's not at all. So they made that a bit bigger. That's good, yeah. This is the same. Ooh, that'd be terrible for dust. So if you rent a motorhome, more than likely you'll end up with a roller team. They seem to sell a lot to the rental market. So here we are at roller team. Let's see what you get for the money. So this is 67 thousand pounds this is cheaper than the Benimar but look at the size of that garage huge it's huge this one's cheaper here at 64 it's got a big garage and a bed in it let's have a look at this one big garages here aren't they yeah super soccer this is how they're getting away with it we're using electric bikes so these roller team are really stylish aren't they really modern look at the door yeah, I instantly like it. Instantly. It is very modern. Instant, yeah. Do you love it, actually? I do, actually. I think the styling on Roller Team is just oh, yeah. amazing. Awesome. This reminds us of the days when we, we hired them. Well, we hired a 590, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And that was a smaller length than this, only sub six metres. But The kitchen was the same. Yeah. And you've got all this nice LED strip lighting. 
they're just a nice i just love them i do we like these instantly got a shower there have you got a roller team how have you gone on with the build quality because we would based on the styling consider one of these for our next van we would consider a roller team wouldn't we compared to alternatives i think roller teams are a really good price right then so this is a brand that we did look at isn't it claire when we really were excited by um, adria yes when we were first looking i wanted an adria it's supposed to be good for quality so let's have a look see what you get it's even got a backresting garage what's that for so there's all these reasons why you choose adria heated garage why would you want it heated so that things don't get cold so for water and things like that what do you think it's very nice better quality do you think yeah it feels quite sturdy sturdy this is important where your dealer is seems to be pretty well catered for so this is getting a lot pricier this is a supersonic so let's take you in there the hundred as seen today a hundred and eighty nine thousand ish it's impossible in there at the moment. Two bus. We see these a lot, don't we? No when we're out and about. And they look, I think they look really cool. Really cool. Little spaceships. So, similar price, really, to ones we saw earlier, 24,000. Oh, yeah, for an action, a little small one. You can see there that the bed pulls out. And... So, it's a nice little thing. Very compact. Very compact, nice little base. Well screwed together, I think. Big fridge. I think if you're doing a lot of walking, you just need somewhere just for a base, yeah. this is pretty good. But 25. Is that a fire? Oh yeah, it's like an old fashioned one. The quality does feel nice. Talk about quality, the quality feels good. Very famous. Well, there's Annabelle Croft there from Tomb Raider. Okay. He's on like daytime TV, isn't he? Yeah, that's why you don't know who he is because you're always at work. We best uh, move on because uh, if not, he'll, he'll talk to me forever. <laughs> Swift do lots, don't they? I think we should look at touring caravans first for Swift U. Yeah. Nice stand, I must admit. It's a beautiful stand. Now, Swift, in terms of repairs, I guess it's a quick turnaround. Let us know. Have you got a Swift? Have you had good after sales service? So, this is an Elegance Grande, or if you're from Barnes, it's an Elegance Grand. And this is probably the most expensive caravan we've seen 42,000. So let's have a look and see what £42,000, which is getting close to motorhome yeah. money, what it gets Well, you. I like it. Actually, it just feels like home. This is beautiful. Oh, is that oh. a charging point for your phone? It's a wireless charger. Bit of good for spec, everybody. It feels very nice, actually, this. I think this is really comfortable. It's like a little apartment. It's nice. We like, I love caravans. <laughs> yeah, great. The bed's here. So really, breakfast, breakfast, bacon, bacon. There you go, Andrew. Pass you the sandwich. And I can just lay in bed? Yes. Yeah. What, without having to get up? Works out well for you. Do you want to get one? Can you get in this shower? Well, how much are you paying me? I like this, do you? So the thing is... We want a caravan now. But I like my motor on. I know, but this is nice. It's it? just what? smaller Swift, 22,000. Let's have a look inside. So, this is smaller, 22. Got to make the bed up. But it's half price. So, this, this is a Swift Voyager, and this is uh, 75, 500 ish. Yep. It looks similar to what the caravans, it's like the caravan. The Motron version of the caravans we've just been looking at. Ish, I think. Actually, it looks a little bit different. Clean dash, isn't it? Yep. Very fresh. I've got this on this one. This folds over. I had to go in widescreen for that one. Contiki. I like this. 894. So does that mean it's eight metres long? I think it's longer. It's nearly nine metres long, this, Claire. Sorry. 
nearly nine meters long. Plenty of space. Lots of space, microwave, nice kitchen, small yep. bowl. What's the toilet like in the shower? Well, it's like midway this. There's a little step up. In the middle. Yeah. And then you've got... Then a big fixed bed. bedroom. That's very useful. You can get lost with specs. So we are here at German Luxury, Deflefs. 137. Let's have a look what this gives you. It's a very light, airy cab. Oh, it's got three hobs. Three hobs. Um, oh, 137. Nice. This. I think it's nice. Oh, see through door there, look. Mm. Nobody yeah, wants you that. Wanna, you don't want to drop soap in that. Would you? We are at Itinio. 61. Well, these are, I think these are good value. Well, say good value. It's called a cozy. A what? A cozy. A cozy. Ah. It is quite cosy. Very similar to what we've got. Yep. The seats are nice. Wipe, wiper, wipeable. Wipeable seats. Which we don't have now. No. Oh. And the shower. I think that's a good use of space, that. And also, yeah. there's um, a bigger uh, garage. Look. You've got a lot of garage space. I think that's good. How long is that? 6.3. It's not actually that long, is it? No. I like that one. Ticket, please. <laughs> How much are these? So this is 79,000. So this is a, a okay. coach built. The difference it's... between the van ones and the coach built ones is that the, it's not like a conversion. They're built specifically on the chassis. Don't know That's what that nice. means. Sounds great. So this one is a Rapido and it's just over 92,000. So let's have a look at the spec inside this coach it's got my built again. Front window. <laughs> Another light and airy cab. Nice area. Drop down bed. 92. Now, the quality in this feels good to yeah. me. Do you like it? Sturdy. Sturdy. Yeah. Well, for 92,000, I'd expect it to be. Don't you believe me? <laughs> so this is what 76 gets you. To be fair, if you have a look, the inside of this, the cabinets, they're made out of the same material by the looks of things. Very similar, 20 grand cheaper, but I think that the upholstery is different. I like it. You like this, do you? For 20 grand, save yourself 20 sheets, yeah. It's got the same shower thing. I don't think it'll be entertaining. Reverse now. They've got this funny uh, thing going off. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Big bobbly top. That's not our style, is it? No. Some can't people get up there, can kids. we? Can't what? You can't even get up there. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, skip that one. Skip that one. But it's, I really like Burstner. I would like Burstner. Burstner, they always look nice. I must admit, when we're on a campsite and a burstner pulls up... We look, don't we? We get that net curtain twitching again. We do, yeah. Well, this is this is a £70,000 Attractive, van. it's called. Attractive. Name this one after you, Claire. <laughs> Actually, it's very nice. Yep. Got your bed at the back. It's very nice. And... Uh, while you're just relaxing, you can learn about Liebling, Stachen and Hecklin. The reason why we like these, because they've got Excel doors. And it's good for if you want to measure things. <laughs> this is a Lyceo TD, turbo diesel. How much is it? Well, it's a one-fold motorhome. It's 92, this. Uh, this is one issue. It's, it's very personal to me, but can't stand up in it, Claire. We've been talking to some people. Hello, if we met you, it's been really nice to see some of our subscribers today. People that watch, and there's also people that we watch that we've Yes, that's met. true. Yeah. And the interesting thing, we've been asking, oh, are you going to upgrade? Are you going to do this? Are you looking for something else? And they've all said, well, I only got my van maybe a few months ago. And now, it's... Uh, Prices have gone up about twenty thousand pounds. Mm, that's a lot. So but they're going to come work out 
Absolutely. You know, why they've gone up. I think it's inflation for one, labour costs. So a lot of people are sticking with what they've got. But the idea of our video, well, we've just been speaking to Van and Country. Check out his channel, by the way. He said, well, I've been working out the cost per night. I said, well, that's what we're doing. People are starting to think about this and how expensive it is. So we like a cafe. So we're going to try out the NEC cafe. Get hot. What we got then? That lemon drizzle cake and it is a drizzle of a lemon cake. We came here maybe looking for an upgrade. But since we bought the Bakewell tart and lemon drizzle cake, <laughs> we're not in the market anymore. But yeah, joking apart, things are so expensive. It costs so much money. Yeah. Is it actually worth it? Well, we've just done a year in a motorhome, thereabouts. Yep. We've been out nearly every weekend. So Claire, do you think it's worth it? I, yes, I do think it's worth it. If you make the most out of it, yes, I do. Although you can look at it and think, well, per night, it's costing me this because the price of the motorhome and because of the um, price of the campsites. And the campsites, and, and they're not that cheap, are they? No, they're not at all. But if you don't like it, you can always sell it. You've, you've got something at the end, haven't you? You'll get some of your money back. So the figures that we quoted aren't quite what they are. But one thing I would say is, me personally, I've had one of the best years of my life. Have you? I have. Well, we've been to lots of places that we wouldn't have been to, seen lots of things that we wouldn't have seen, yeah. met lots of people that we wouldn't have met. And I think we've, we've understand the history of the UK more. We've seen we loads of beautiful sights in England and Britain. <laughs> what about you? Have you had a good year? We've had a fantastic year. Like I said, we've met so many people. And you know what? We're going to do the same again, aren't we? Is it good value for money? For us. We're out on it every weekend. I think so. Yeah, we think so. If you're thinking of getting into it, try it. Why not rent first? See yeah, what some you great think. rental companies out there, like we did. Thank you so much for watching. We've still got some of the Welsh tour to do. Yep. We've got some clothing coming back in stock. Hoodies, zip. They are actually on their way right now. I want to say, please look at Facebook and Instagram. We're on there. And I will personally reply to all your comments, your messages, your pictures, your tags. And that's all from us. We've got more of Wales coming up later on in the week. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.